The National Commissioner of Correctional Services, Makhoti Samuel Tobakhale, is leading an unannounced search operation at Pulukwane Correctional Facility in Limpopo. The operation is aimed at eliminating contraband, curbing illegal activities and ensuring strict compliance with correctional regulations. The department says they periodically conduct these random operations in order to uphold the highest standard of security and discipline within their correctional facilities. SABC News reporter Pimani Baloi is there and joins us now. Let's take you live uh, there to our reporter Pimani Baloi. Pimani, thank you so much uh, for your time uh, this evening. Uh, perhaps uh, maybe you can uh, just let us know what is taking place right now as we speak at the moment. Good evening, Balen. Good evening to our viewers. As you rightfully stated, that unannounced raid started just about an hour or so ago here at the Polokwane Correctional Facility. As you can see behind me, Bali, inmates from these cells were moved from out of these cells to this outside area where they were told that there is an unannounced raid and they were told if you have any counter counterband on your position, please volunteer. Let us know now so that we can can confiscate that. We've seen some inmates raising their hands and declaring that they had certain items that they shouldn't have inside this correctional facility. After that declaration, they were then taken to their beds where they took out such contraband. But other inmates who did not voluntarily, voluntarily state that they had items that they shouldn't have inside this facility, their uh, beds were also searched and when uh, that counterband, counterband was found, they, were all, they would also also be charged. But to speak more about this uh, raid today, I'm joined by the National Commissioner of Correctional Facility, Commissioner Tawakhali. Thank you so much for your time, Commissioner. You are here at the Polokwane facility. You've been here for almost an hour now. This raid has just started. We expect it to uh, continue through the night. What are some of the items that you might have found? I know you haven't tallied up what you found, but also this is not the first time you conduct such uh, uh, searches. What are some of the items items you expect to find usually at a, a facility such as this? Yeah, what we expect to find when we do raids are objects that are not, you know, uh, allowed to uh, be in correctional facilities. Now, those are your cell phones, your sharp objects, drugs, money, because um, offenders are not supposed to have access to money. For them to buy from uh, our tax shops in a correctional setting, we're using a card system. So we are a cashless uh, system um, as a correctional system. So those are the items that we look for. The reason being that we want to ensure that our offenders are safe, we want to also ensure that our officials are safe. Commissioner, these items are smuggled in, obviously, and we do know people who mostly have access to the outside world are some of your officials. Is there, do you ever find, I know this is not the first time, you and I, about two years ago, during the festive season, we were at the Toyando Correctional Facility, do, conducting a similar raid. Uh, do you ever find officials to be part of this chain of command that leads this contraband to these facilities? And what then happens to, number one, the inmates that are found with them, but also also, your officials, do you ever find this? We do. Um, since the beginning of the financial year, uh, we have been uh, prosecuting 53 cases on the side of officials. Now, out of those 53, only 16 are left. They are still pending. The processes are moving. Those are disciplinary cases. And uh, 85 officials were involved. They were all, uh, you know, uh, disciplined. Out of that, that 85, 17 were dismissed. Okay. What we also do in terms of the Correctional Services Act is, is to open criminal cases with South African Police Service. The same we do with the with the, the inmates. We charge them. Now that goes on to their record, basically meaning that some of the privileges that they are supposed to. Uh, get access to, get cut. We also reclassify them. You know, if you are a low risk uh, inmate, you will be classified a uh, high risk. The security arrangements around you get tightened. Why? Because we want to ensure that a correctional setting is a safe correctional setting. Because our primary mandate is to uh, ensure that rehabilitation programs take place, correctional programs take place in a humane uh, correctional system and contrabands 
uh, disturb that type of uh, uh, environment that we're supposed to, to work on. And they're also costly because it means now when you plan your daily movements in a correctional facility, you have to factor the fact that you have these sub objects that might pose a, a, a security risk to officials and inmates. Talking about that risk, let's now talk about this unannounced visit. We do know who are part of, how do you ensure that it remains unannounced for both the officials who might have certain relationships with some of the inmates, but also the inmates to ensure that they don't discard or, you know, damage some of the contraband that could be found when you arrive here? Well, firstly, we don't utilize security officers from the same correctional facility or management area and we utilize also our specialized team the emergency support team and we also have a contingent of South African police service joining us uh, look in instances where the, the word goes out in as much as the, the, the inmates can try and, and hide but we search each and every section space in a cell we search each and every piece of their belongings. So uh, for us, whatever they do, because some of the searches that we do are announced, they expect them, but we still find the contrabands. We still link them to officials. We still link them to, to inmates, and we continue to discipline them, and we remove the, the contrabands. And specifically looking at this facility, your, how do they reach this facility? How do you think, what has been the evidence in terms of how do they get here? Well, the, the first one, okay, let me talk to Polokwane Correctional Facility. It's a, it's a remand detention facility in the main, so you have more than 1,300 inmates that go to court. Now, as they come back from court, they bring these contrabands. We detect them in instances where our system, you know, does not detect them. We search and we remove them. Secondly, uh, the inmates are allowed to have visits from their family members on a weekly basis over the weekends. Family members also bring these contrabands, which is a risk uh, to our environment. And then thirdly, we have our own officials. Uh, unfortunately, officials you know, come to work on a daily basis where we are, we are a 24-7, seven, seven days a week set, uh, establishment. Now, that is a risk that we carry on a daily basis. So they also, some of them bring the contrabands into uh, correctional facilities. We detect them. And uh, as I've indicated, we, we discipline them. The reason why we want to expose these rates to the public is to also send a message and educate you know, uh, the public to say, don't participate in processes of bringing or smuggling contrabands into correctional facilities. If you have an inmate that is your loved one, a friend, a member of the family, and you know they have a cell phone, do not communicate. Actually encourage them not to continue utilizing that cell phone. Let them surrender the cell phone to us as officials of the department. Because in any case, we search and we find the cell phone and it goes on to the record of this uh, inmate. It delays the correctional and rehabilitation programs. It also affects their chances of going out on parole. Thank you so much, Commissioner. That's the National Commissioner of Correctional Services just taking us through the items that they have found during this raid here at the Polokani facility. We have seen for ourselves cell phones found in pillows, some even hidden in sponges that some of these inmates uh, sleep on. We've also seen items such as drugs and other contraband that the Commissioner was stating that are not welcome at this facility. As he was saying, some of the uh, inmates that are found in position of this contraband will be facing charges and will delay their pro their time their process of getting out of this facility rehabilitated but also some officials might also face disciplinary action if they are found to have participated in any way uh, in getting that contraband into this facility